Welcome to the Wondrous History Podcast and to a second part of an episode which I did uh, about a week ago, which was the review of the Imbatuta, the Traveler of Islam concert done by Hordi Saval and Hesperion at Usher Hall, part of the Edinburgh International uh, Festival. Uh, it was a phenomenal, phenomenal concert. Do check that video out. Um, what I did not know at the time was that the following day at Queen's Hall, a much smaller venue, uh, Saval and Hesperion would hold another concert of one of my absolute favorite uh, albums that he's ever done. And that would be the music of Dimitri Kantemir. For people new to the channel, I did a video on the history of Dimitri Kantemir a uh, Moldavian prince, ethnographer, writer, uh, musicologist, arguably one of the most important musicians and musicologists of the uh, very late 17th century and early 18th century. And Dimitri Kantemir holds a rather special place within the uh, cultural collective consciousness of um, uh, Romanian history and culture uh, as a whole. Uh, be it because of his works in literature, music, and uh, and so on. So I was vi I was delighted to be able to get one of the last tickets and attend this concert. Now it was a much smaller ensemble than the um, I've got the was it the Im Imbatuta uh, concert that I've talked about in the previous episode. Uh, it was about six people, including Hordi Saval. There were, was also, um, uh, who was it, Dimitri Psionis. And there was also, I think, Yurdal Tokan. Yes, the Oud player and his performance was absolutely uh, masterful. And you can see here, there, there's the CD cover and there's the book Right there, Alia Vox, as always, they do phenomenal uh, and really good quality materials. Uh, you can see this, this is a lov lovely depiction of, um, of Istanbul during the early modern days. And the full name of the concert was Istanbul Dimitri Kantemir, 1673-1723. Uh, so... The acoustics of the Queen's Hall, it's, it's a rather small venue uh, located towards Southbridge of Edinburgh. So compared to Usher Hall, where the Ibn Battuta concert was, that was a much larger um, uh, concert hall. But this felt actually with um, an orchestra of six and the acoustics of the room, it felt like a very, uh, I would say, intimate performance. It was almost as if the audience was taken back in time to uh, 17th century, 18th century Constantinople or Istanbul. And you can see here at the back, uh, it was a concert which lasted about, I would say, a bit over an hour and 30 minutes. It had uh, one interval, uh, loads of tax scenes, loads of improvisations as well. And also, just to show you a bit of the book, you see quite a few names here. Uh, not all of them were uh, present today, like uh, Dris El Malumi. He was at the Imbatuta concert. He was not present uh, over here. Pedro Esteban as well. He was not present this year. Uh, I know he's, I think he's an amazing uh, with percussion, a uh, phenomenal uh, performer. So... You can see here it's it's a lovely little booklet and the the quality that it's got there is master saval over there and there was a very beautiful illustration which i wanted to show you i think it's yeah right over here um it's like a notation in symbols for the tambour with uh, of dimitri kantemir and i'm if you've not seen, that is one of the uh, most definitive and most well-known portraits of Dimitri Kantemir. Um, it's a fortune, again, to get a signature um, 
and an autograph from Jorge Saval on the on the CD. So uh, obviously here you can see Cantemir with his full um, impressive outfit, and this would be the the very beautiful CD here. So all in all, it was almost everything that I expected this concert to to be. Uh, many a time throughout my postgrad, I would listen to this very album and um, just be taken back in time. I was privileged once more to say to attend not one but two concerts from this um, legend of early modern music um, to hear the story of Imbatuta, to hear the music of Dimitri Kantemir as someone who's come from um, Romania and who is kind of like, not a hero, but someone whose uh, work and literary and musical I've respected quite a lot. Uh, it, it meant a lot to me and I'm hopefully able next year, uh, hoping that travel and restrictions are not no longer a problem to see other concerts um, such as the, I know that he comes to Glasgow quite often, or the Savalin, as I think it's the Celtic Viola, Kelvin, Kelvin Hall, um, so, something like that. There's also the collection of, um, Granada, the, the, the songs of, uh, slavery. There's so many albums and concerts, and I still need to hopefully be able to see a lot more. But, uh, yeah, Istanbul, Dimitri Kantemir. A phenomenal performance. I was very, very happy to be able to attend this. I recommend it if you see this uh, wherever you are. I know that he did this concert about 10 years ago in Romania. It was on uh, uh, TVR Cultural, the uh, kind of like a BBC4 channel of, of Romania. And he did a concert which covered a lot of uh, Cantemir's uh, music. So... As always, if if Jordi Saval is in your vicinity, and you are, and you have like even like the most remote interest in early modern music, uh, do yourself a favor and just go and uh, attend it because it's nothing short of spectacular and um, uh, great. Thank you for listening to uh, or watching to this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And until the next time, all the best. I will return with uh, the Traveler Diaries of the Mediterranean episode. I think it's Fabriano Falchetti from Excepta Cipria. Uh, I will come back with more episodes on that, but I was very happy to, to just do, offer my thoughts on two spectacular concerts from Jordi Saval, Hesperion, Edinburgh International Festival, um, it was it was great. So thank you.